Good morning. This is Mark Harrison with Sewer Line Check Professionals. I am here at 733 North, excuse me, North Poinsettia Place in West Hollywood, and I am preparing to perform a video examination of the main sewer line here on the property for Matthew Genovese. Now, the main sewer line is the portion of the waste drainage piping that is exterior to the structure. It lies underground and connects the building drain line system to the public sewer. The building drain line system then is the portion or portions of the waste drainage piping that is underneath or interior to the structure. Our examination today is not focused on the building drain line system, so if further evaluation is desired regarding the building drain line system, a licensed plumbing contractor should be contacted, or a specialty building drain line video examination can be set up through our office. So I'm going to be performing my examination today from this 4-inch clean-out access we've located here over on the right side of the structure. And this is uh, this here along these, this right side. There's our front gate, our uh, side windows here, and pretty obvious this four-inch pipe sticking up out of the ground. Now this is a uh, two-inch clean-out access. So what we'll do first is push back upstream, and you'll see as we come this way. This is the uh, pipe coming out of the structure, and making that turn to head down to this location. This is the building drain pipe that comes out, and then we'll flip the camera around, push out now through the main sewer pipe. So this is a, uh, a newly installed or a newer installation cleanout. It's not the original main sewer line cleanout. So we do transition immediately into an original vitrified clay uh, sewer piping. Now, these clay pipe materials, they were expected to have a long service life, being a natural material. They aren't expected to deteriorate underground, but they are more brittle in nature and do have a higher potential for damage or cracking during seismic activities. Also, roots can penetrate these pipes and cause damage. And we are seeing pretty much immediately root intrusions at these joint areas. This is a fairly common condition in these clay lines and normally we are suggesting that these root intrusions can be maintained with regular sewer line cleanings. It's when they're left unmaintained for extended periods that they can create blockages in a system and they can also damage a pipe. Also what I'm starting to see here are cracks around those joints where the roots are starting to cause some stress on the pipe. And that's not all that uncommon but you start seeing uh, this many cracks, or so many of the joints, it starts to say that this line is aging and could certainly benefit from like a rehabilitation of the line, something with maybe a, a lining system or something of that nature. So we're running straight up along the right side of the structure towards the front corner where we're going to uh, kind of jog over into the yard a few feet before we turn to run back out in a straight line out to the public sewer near the middle of the street. this uh, connection here where it makes that 45 degree turn to the right is uh, and I cracked up and damaged as well. You'll see here as we push in uh, the bell on that section of pipe has, has been broken. This is something a little more significant and probably should be repaired but when you kind of add up all these different situations that we're seeing, especially as we continue along through the pipe here. We may be discussing more of a combination of minor point repairs like that and possibly a rehabilitation. Nothing at this point really appears to be affecting the function of the system. It does appear that it has been cleaned probably fairly recently.
All right, so here's about 55 feet. We're getting towards the front of the property around the sidewalk area, and we're changing to a six inch diameter. We're increasing in diameter. Uh, concrete pipe. Now, these concrete pipes were very common uh, under the streets here in the city of Los Angeles prior to 1965. So this is a uh, material we see a lot of. Now they exhibit similar conditions to the vitrified clay. I am seeing some more cracks. These are commonly that two to three foot section of pipe again like the uh, clay is. We've got these lines that are a little difficult to make out with this rough inner surface, but we've got these lines. This is a joint, and then this is something that we see here as, as a crack going around the circumference of the pipe. Now, the city of Los Angeles is requiring rehabilitation of these concrete lateral pipes uh, in the event of certain types of construction here on the property, and that is the... Uh, property owner's responsibility to rehabilitate this line with an approved lining system. So you kind of add that to the mix, depending on what's going to be done here on the property, we could be talking here in the near future, upgrades to this entire system. And here we are about 85 feet, 83 feet, dropping down into our public sewer. So generally right now the system is functional. Uh, there's quite a bit of stress on the on the pipe, both types of pipe, the clay with the root intrusions and cracks around the joints, and the concrete with the, uh, again, minor root intrusions, but uh, cracks in the uh, middle of the pipe sections. And then the uh, possibility of having to rehabilitate that concrete lateral. And all that adds up and uh, basically tells us uh, one should really start to consider some sort of upgrade or rehabilitation methods here. Um, not a big sense of urgency in doing so at this point since the line is draining, but uh, it is older and uh, could be considered nearing the end of its useful service life. All right, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and conclude the video portion of the examination for today. Uh, we'll be issuing a written report to review along with this video, which will have the uh, final findings and recommendations, including potential maintenance recommendations. Now we do recommend that all main sewer lines are examined after any significant seismic activity and that main sewer line should be examined annually to monitor for changing conditions in the system. This is Mark Harrison with Sewer Line Check Professionals. Thank you very much. Have a pleasant day.